In this video, we will compare Yamaha Aerox 155 and Honda Dio 110. First of all, engine capacity. In Aerox, a 155cc engine is connected, but in Honda Dio, you can see the engine capacity is around 110cc. Here, if you compare the power, more power is for Yamaha Aerox, 14.7 bhp is the maximum power, but in Honda Dio, you can see 7.7 bhp is the maximum power. Let's consider torque. Here, more torque here is Yamaha Aerox 155, 13.9 Nm, but 9.3 Nm is the maximum torque in Honda Dio 110. If you compare the undersea storage, in Yamaha you can see 24.5 Nm is the undersea storage provided, but in Honda Dio 110, around 18 Nm is the undersea storage given. When we compare the fuel to capacity, only 0.2 Nm difference is there among these two in terms of fuel to capacity, and more is for Yamaha Aerox 155, 5.5 Nm is the fuel to capacity of Yamaha Aerox. Now let's go to mileage. Among these two, more mileage is for Honda Dio 110. Around 50 kmpl is the on-road mileage you will be getting for the latest version of Honda Dio 110. But in Yamaha Aerox, you will be getting 40 to 48 kmpl on-road. If we come with the front brake, here you can see in Yamaha Aerox, 230mm single disc is provided. But in Honda Dio, 130mm drum brake is given. Where when we come with the rear brake, you can see in both of them, 130mm drum brake is provided. Here we had to specify the braking type. Single channel ABC is used in MI Aerox for stabilizing the braking and combi braking system is used in Honda Dio 110. Now let's consider curve weight. Here more curve weight is for MI Aerox 155, 126 kg but around 103 kg is the total curve weight of Honda Dio 110. If we compare the wheelbase among these two more wheelbase is for MI Aerox 155, 13 50 mm but around 1260mm is the total wheelbase of Honda Dio 110. Now let's consider seat height. Here more seat height is for Emma Aerox. It has got 790mm seat height but in Honda Dio you can see 650m is the seat height provided. In terms of ground clearance, among these two more ground clearance is for Honda Dio 110 160mm but in Emma Aerox you can see 145mm is the total ground clearance. Now let's consider the total length. Here more length is for Emma Aerox 1980mm. But in Honda Dio 110, you can see 1808 mm is the total length. If we compare the compression ratio, here you can see among these two, more compression ratio is for Emma Aerox. It's not so much high, but above medium range. Here, when we come with the cooling system, liquid cooling is used in Emma Aerox, but air cooling is used in Honda Dio for cooling the engine. Now, the fuel delivery system used in these two are fuel injection. Let's consider top speed. Emma Aerox got more edge capacity, more power, and decent amount of curve weight also. Among these two, more top speed is for Emma Aerox 155. Around 120 kmph is the top speed, but in Honda Dio 110 you can see 80 to 85 kmph is the top speed achievable. Finally, guys, when we compare the price, MI Aerox got more edge capacity, more power, more torque, more top speed, more undersea storage. For that, you had to pay the extra price also. On the screen, you can see the actual price of the base models of these two scooters. So, guys, that's all this video. If you like this video, press the like button, share this free maximum, support my channel. If you're in doubt, write in the comment section. Thank you.